Hey friends, and welcome back to Fallout 3. In our last video, we did end the day in little lamplight. We have finally gained access to the area, but now we're going to work on my favorite kind of quest, an escort quest, because we need to... Hey, you. Yeah, you. Don't bother with the children at little lamplight. Let's go to Big Town instead. You want to take off the party hat? Yeah, what's with the party hat? But anyway, I was going to say, we, we need to escort Sticky here to Big Town because he's 18 and he's been kicked out a little lamplight, you know, with love, I'm sure. <laughs> Except for Princess, but anyway. What's with the party hat, Sticky? Oh, I forgot I had that on. It was for my birthday. Here, you take it. I don't want it anymore. Big Town? I've been there before. You have? Mm -hmm. I mean, of course you have. It's an awesome place. <laughs> well, enough talking. Let's get a move on. You are taking me to Big Town, right? Yeah. All right. Let's 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 go to Big Town now. All right. Yeah. Big Town, here we come. Yay, great. All right. Hang on. Before we do this, though, I need to alien epoxy my, my weapon right now. Okay. Let's go do this. Okay, he is following me. Can I give him Are we there yet? weapons of any kind? Are we there yet? No. You're starting to get on my nerves, Sticky. For the love of God, shut the hell up. Wow, you're annoying. You better make this worth my while. I can't take your babbling. You're on your own. Good luck getting to Big Town. You're going to need a weapon if you want to live to see Big Town. Oh, wow. Cool. What have you got for me? Minigun? Flamer? No. Maybe a missile launcher? None of the above. At all. I feel like I have... Oh, I've got 32 pistol. And we'll even give you some ammo to go along with it. There you go. Enough chit-chat. Come on, let's hurry up and get to Big Town. Oh, I feel like that might have been a bad choice. Giving this kid a weapon. Do you even know how to shoot? Like, is that a thing? <laughs> He's awful chatty. Okay, we need to go to Big Town, which is where? I feel like it's all the way over here somewhere. All right, I finally found it. Um, Maybe we can follow this road here and be somewhat successful in our journeys, hopefully. All right, kid, keep up, please. Yeah, there's kind of a road here. Well, Are like you lost? No, I'm not lost. Are you lost? I've got one. I've got your back. Ugh. Of course it's an albino scorpion. That I need to fight while a kid is here with me. Ouch. Did he just say good enough? <laughs> All right, kid, keep up. We got a ways to go. I know. Let's make up a story to pass the time. Oh, okay. Once sure. upon a time, there was this man. Mm -hmm. His name was Super Dupe Dave, and he went all around rescuing people from super mutants and slavers and, and other nasty things. Really? And one day, a spaceship from outer space landed. A spaceship? From outer space. Okay. Right in front of him, and a big green alien jumped out and started eating people. And what did our hero do, you wonder? He came up. Open fire. Explosion of super mutants. All right, you were saying. You gonna finish your story? Why is this taking so long? Because it's not like it's around the corner, dude. That would be convenient. Are we there yet? No, Super Duper Dave was uh, kidnapped by aliens and it's just gonna be left on a cliffhanger, which is very disappointing. His name was Joking Joe. Oh, Joking Joe, and he okay. he went all around making everyone laugh really hard at all his funny jokes. <laughs> and one day, this giant super mutant attacked him and tried carrying him off. Really? And what did our hero do, you wonder? I, I don't know. What did he do? 
Uh, there's a road straight ahead. Jailbird's waste disposal. I don't really want to go to some place I haven't explored yet, but... He came up with the most cleverest of clever plans. And it worked. And everyone called him a genius. The end. That's all, folks. Okay. Maybe we'll just go the long way, and then he can tell us ridiculous stories. His name was Super Dupe Dave, and he went all around rescuing people from super mutants and slavers and, and other nasty things. Okay. And one day, a giant ant came up to him and started talking like he wasn't some dumb ant, but a person of some kind. It said, prepare to die. And was our brave hero scared? No, not at all. He left in the face of danger. Ha ha ha. He beat up the monster and everyone cheered. The end. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are you going to be okay in here with all this radiation, kid? I really hope so, because this is the most direct route. Oh, no. There's, there's things are coming for us. Oh, it's just dogs. Why is this taking so long? Because we live far, you live far away from Big Town. I know. Let's make up a story to pass the time. Okay. Once upon a time, there was this robot. Mm hmm His name was Joking Joe. And he went all around making everyone laugh really hard. Where are you going? I've got one. We'll get him. I need some help with this one. Why are you wandering off? I hate escort quests. You should have messed with me. The end. That's all, folks. Did I run out of stim packs? I could not possibly have run out of stim packs. I ran out of stim packs? Oh no. That's really bad. <laughs> Okay, I need to go buy some stim packs. I don't know how that's possible, but I ran out of stim packs. I don't know where they went. I must have given them to somebody or dropped them off somewhere accidentally. Oh no, that's bad. Why is this taking so long? Because you keep wandering off. I probably used them all on the alien spaceship. Are you lost? No. I know. Let's make up a story to pass the time. Okay. Once upon a time, there was this robot. Mm-hmm. His name was Super Dupe Dave, and he went all around rescuing people from super mutants and slavers and, and other nasty things. Great. And one day, a giant ant came up to him and started talking like he wasn't some dumb ant, but a person of some kind. It said, prepare to die. And was our so-called hero scared? You bet he was. He cried like a little baby. Wah, wah, wah. And all his friends laughed at him. The end. That's all, folks. That's... Where are you going? You're wandering... What are you doing? Come on. What's the problem here? Keep moving, Sticky. His name was Super Dupe Dave. Oh, jeez. And he went all around rescuing people from super mutants and slavers and, and other nasty things. Mm-hmm. And one day, a giant ant came up to him and started talking like he wasn't some dumb ant, but a person of some kind. It said, prepare to die. And what did our hero do, you wonder? What? He came up with the most cleverest of clever plans. And it worked. And everyone called him a genius. The end. Thank you for your, your stories. Sticky. Maybe this is why they made you leave Big Town. Not because you're old <laughs> at 18, but because you're annoying. <laughs> I have to be like frugal with my health stims now. Oh, I gotta go buy more stim packs. 
I feel like we're almost there though, aren't we? We're almost, we're almost there. Almost to Big Town. Are you thing. lost? No, I'm not lost. I can't wait to get to Big Town. Trying to get my nerves while wow, you're annoying. Okay. Come on. I like how I gave him a gun and he's not actually using it. Are you coming? Why is this taking so long? Because you keep stopping and pulling aggro on bad guys. If you were a little bit sneakier, we would have been there by now. But you need to pause and wait for death claws to come after you. Are we there yet? No. We're almost here, though. I, I hate escort quests so much. I hate them. I hate them. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, I hate escort quests. Are we there yet? We're here. Okay, kid. We're at Big Town. I have to go around the long way, though, because there's no door this way, is there? Let's make up a story to pass the time. There it is. We're almost there. Come on. Yippee! Come on! It's not the worst escort quest I've ever done, but they're all awful. Finally. It's the hero of Big Town. Yeah. Where is this kid? Come on. I hate it here. I was starting to think that Big Town wasn't a very good place to live. But now I think we can do it. Thanks to you. Remember, if you ever need a sidekick, I'm your man. No, absolutely not. Okay, he is now in Big Town. Hey, Sticky. Keep your stickiness away from me and my new gun. This is a sticky free zone. I... Come on, Flash. I'm not a little kid anymore. You can stop calling me sticky. Whatever, sticky. <laughs> Those assholes in Lamplight said that this place was great. Your fly's open. Ha <laughs> ha! Made you look. This is the town, right? Where are the stores? Any idea why there are barricades around the towns? All right, I don't need to ask All right. those questions. I'll just be here doing grown-up stuff. Okay, you do your grown-up stuff. I'm going to go find... There she is. Yeah, I'm going to go find some Stimpex, and then we'll go back to Little Lamplight. So I'll meet you there when all of that is done. <laughs> all right, I'm finally back to Little Lamplight. I have Stimpex again. That's <laughs> something I never thought I'd actually run out of, and I, I very much did. And I sold a lot of my alien crystals to get free stim packs, basically. It was it was very, very lovely. But let's continue talking to everyone here in Little Lamplight and see what we can see. Who is this? Squirrel. Hey. Oh, hi! I've heard of you. You're one of the good guys. I saved you. Like, of course you've heard of me. Why are you called Squirrel? I like to think it's because of my inquisitive and charming nature, as well as my natural climbing ability. But? But Knock Knock says it's because I'm totally nuts. <laughs> Guess which one's probably right. The uh, latter, probably. Take care, t take, take care, squirrel. I'll try. Are you okay? Mayor said to let you in alive, but he didn't say you had to stay that way. Watch your step, Mungo. Well, I'm glad there wasn't any blood over a misunderstanding. I'm new in town and you're already threatening me. Not a good start, kid. First one. Only people who use that gate are strangers, and most strangers aren't welcome here. I'm Stacy, and I make sure strangers stay out. Mm. If the mayor hadn't let you in himself, I'd make sure you stayed out too. What do you know about Vault 87? Not much, really. Mayor has a steer clear of the door to murder pass, just in case. <laughs> if you go near it, you can hear them howling. Oh, great. Can't hear much around the other door, though. I guess maybe there aren't as many back there. Doesn't matter much, though. Are you the only guard on the front gate? Now I am, yeah. But I'm a good guard, and no one's getting by me now. Why aren't there more guards here? We usually use crawl spaces so mungos can't follow. This gate doesn't get used much, except letting in big cargo or mungos. Both are rare. We used to have two guards here. But we can make do with one, as long as I'm vigilant. We don't have much choice. You said you used to have another guard. What happened? There... there used to be another guard. She was named Caps. She used to take care of me. She liked my company guarding. She liked it when I used to tell jokes. Then some raiders attacked. 
and I was the only guard left. Oh, sweetie, you can't blame yourself for a death. That's the way. That's the way things go, you know. No, first one. Except, I was supposed to be on guard when they attacked. I should have been here to help Caps. It really is my fault she died. Now I'm the only front gate guard, so it's my responsibility to make up for that. Sounds like it was your fault Caps died. Guards can't slack like that? Wow. You're gonna stand guard all alone from now on? Quite a sacrifice, Stacy. Somebody needs to guard the front gate, and no one else is doing it. So I will. Even if it sucks for me, I don't mind. Some things just have to be done, and they just have to be done right. Because if they aren't, you can't ever get back what you lose. Besides, Caps would want it like that. Okay. All oh, these kids. Can you give me directions? Okay, where are you going? Where can I find a doctor? You know that office building near the entrance? When Lucy's at work in there, she's the one who patches this up. Okay, do you have a trader in town? There's a souvenir shop just north of the entrance. That's where Knickknack sells whatever else we can't use. Check there. His name is Knickknack. I'm not a fan of Knickknacks. Where can I get some food? Take that tunnel north, and when you hit the fork, go left. You'll find the fungus pools easy enough. Okay, I'm looking for Vault 87. Can you help me find it? You can only get there through Murder Pass, and we keep guards there to keep the little kids out. But if you want to have a look, it's north of the souvenir shop. Okay. Okay. I have to go. Okay, bye-bye. No. Oh. These kids, knock knock. Hey, are we letting Mungo's in now? <laughs> Didn't hear a scuffle, so I'm guessing you're some sort of guest? So, what's so cool about you, Fancy Pants? Must be a pretty good reason for you to get let in, see? I'm from Vault 101 and I, I've rescued some of your friends from the slavers. I'm the big hero who rescued your friends from the slavers. How's that for cool? <laughs> that one. It sure is. Nice work bringing them back. You didn't happen to bring anything else back, did you? Stories, jokes, lessons for the folks here? Speaking of which, I'm Knock Knock and I keep people's spirits up down here. If you want to trade jokes, just knock knock on my door. Oh, jeez. You said you're in charge of morale. What does that mean? Well, technically, I'm patrolling and keeping the peace. Mostly, that involves making sure people are happy and not getting into trouble. You can't very well keep the peace if you've already lost it, see? So, bam! Jokes. Want to hear one? I, I don't, I don't know, but sure. Prepare to be amused. All right, I'm ready. Knock knock. Who's there? This is stupid. Noah. Noah, place where you can get some better jokes. <laughs> That's hilarious. Noah who? Noah, place where I can get some food. <laughs> that was um really funny. Gee, thanks. I have to admit most of them aren't really funny. They aren't. At least not ha ha funny. They're more like a tradition. Most of them were passed down from this book we found down back, called Vault Boy's Big Book of Laughs for Kids. They're not really funny, but something about hearing them is a little comforting, you know? Yeah, it's like dad jokes. They're, I mean, they're so awful, they're bad, and it's, you don't want to hear them, but when you do, it's like, you just a smile. <laughs> Why don't you come up with some new jokes or stories to tell? Oh, we've got lots of funny incidents. Like when Sammy shot the raider who thought he was a girl, that sort of stuff. But we don't really get a lot of news stories from outside. The scav teams spend all their time hidden, so they don't get much news, see? I'd sure like to hear more tales from the great big outdoors myself. Actually, if you hear any, feel free to tell me. I've got a tale I could tell you. Oh, really? Tell me about it. Not long ago, my father left me, so I went searching for him. <laughs> Oh yeah, We're, let's let's tell a traumatized story. So you're like a three-legged dog then? What? Looking for your lost paw? Oh gosh. <laughs> anyway, what happened next? That's terrible. I've enlisted the aid of the Brotherhood of Steel in my heroic adventures. The wasteland is littered with the victims of my vengeance and amusement. <laughs> I finally found my dad that he died protecting me in his life's work. Um, sure. Wow. That's some crazy bad timing. Right? I mean, that is to say, I'm really sorry to hear about your loss. So, what happens next? I'll tell you more, but I'm still working on how it ends. That makes sense, I suppose. 
A good story can take a while to put together, you know. So why are you called Knock Knock? Well, when people started calling Nikki by his new name, I needed one too, see? If you're twins, it just doesn't cut it to be called Nick Knack and Sue. No, it, it really doesn't. To where, man? To where, man? Okay. Bye. See ya about. All these kids, I want to take them somewhere where they'll be safer. But they seem like they're relatively safe here too. Okay, local map. We have our stuff. Oh, well, let me take off the marker or did I not take off the marker? I did take off the marker. There's just two options over there. All right, well, what is over here? The essentials. Door to Little Lamplight Office Building. Okay. Is this your classroom? Doesn't sound creepy at all, does it? Journal of Carrie Delaney, Entry 2, Entry 1. Should probably save just in case, like, some kid walks in on me and then gets all hostile because I'm taking their stuff. I'm stealing from children, I know. I'm ho I'm horrible, but, like, the game thinks I'm still a messiah. Speaking of which, do we have any updates from Three Dog? Nope. Wanted to be like the straver, the straver, the slaver, you know, compound has been destroyed. Okay, let's. Um, can, is there a bed? Can I sleep? Yes. I have my health back. Ah, stuck. Who's this? Who are you? Kid! Hi. Hi. Hang on, Sammy. I've got some notes to listen to. Journal of Carrie Delaney, Entry 1. My name is Carrie Delaney. I teach fourth grade at the Early Dawn Elementary School in Washington, D.C. Yesterday, October 23rd, 2077, half the school went on a field trip to Lamplight Caverns. We were packing up to leave when... When everything went crazy. Oh, no. The cave started shaking. The lights went out. The kids started screaming. My God. Mr. Pollock went outside to see what was going on. When he came back in, he told us what he saw. Clouds. Mushroom clouds. It's finally happened. The end of the world. Oh, that's terrifying we're all okay if you can call being stuck in a cave with 82 terrified kids okay alive anyway but i don't know what the hell we're going to do it's been four days claudia went out this morning to look around and never came back then mr cobb went out to look for her and he never came back. They're ditching you guys. So now there's only me, two other teachers, two of the parents who were chaperoning, and a few of the cavern staff. And all these poor kids. We've got enough food and water to last for a while, I guess. But after that, I just don't know. We can't stay in here forever. Can we? Probably can, actually. All right, hi, kiddo. Sammy, was hey it? There, miss. Hi. We didn't need any Mungo's help getting out of there, you know. But you did it, so uh, thanks. But that means I gotta go back to guarding the back gate with Princess. Ugh. Oh, I feel your pain. Do you like classes with Joseph? Who's Joseph? Yeah, what I don't like is being bugged when I'm trying to learn. <laughs> Do you enjoy guarding the back gate? No. I think that's already been established. <laughs> no, because Princess always bosses me around, and there's never nothing to gun. 
She's always making fun of me just because she's angry all the time about her nickname and not being in charge and stuff. Okay, can you tell me why Princess gets angry about her nickname? Oh, yeah. So, a long time ago, Princess convinced everyone that she should be mayor. <clears throat> the first thing she did as mayor was try to insist the title be changed to Princess. What? It was five minutes before McCready punched her in the nose and got picked as the new mayor. <laughs> It was awesome. <laughs> I mean, she was only mayor for five minutes. Does she still hold a grudge against him? Obviously. Uh, first one. <laughs> yeah. McCready said we needed someone to watch out for us, not to lord over us. Then he popped her one. She hasn't even tried since then. Oh, that's great. That's why he stays mayor, too. I hope I can be that cool someday. I shouldn't be advocating child violence upon each other, but, like, she's such a brat. <laughs> Does she still hold a grudge against them? No way. I think she's got a crush on him. Oh. She's all weird for him. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. Thanks. Maybe you can take her down a peg, huh? Probably, probably, probably not. Um. Where to, Mungo? Where can I find a doctor? In here. But only when Lucy's in her office. Talk with her when she's on duty. Oh. Is she the girl who just ran out? Okay. So, it Okay, just the same stuff we're repeating. All right. This must be Lucy's office in here, and she's not currently on duty. The doctor is in. She's not in, actually. Where'd she go? Talk to Squirrel already. Hi. Hi. Imagine you send your kids on a field trip, the world ends, and how terrified of, of, as a parent you would be. Uh -huh. Whoa, a Mungo down here just walking around. Trying to frantically find your child. Oh my gosh. I, I don't want to imagine because that just sounds horrible. So I'm going. Well, we'll go back this way. What are you doing? Walking? What are you doing? Gosh, you're big. Yeah, I know. I'm grown up. Little or lamplight caverns, caverns souvenir shop. Spelunkers. Murder pass. That sounds lovely. Bathrooms look again. How long have these skeletons been here? You guys could bury them, take them outside, something. I'm just, I'm just saying. I don't particularly want to go to Murder Pass. Is there another way to get to the vault that I can choose instead, please? Because the murder pass sounds very dangerous, and I, I would like to not do that, please. Door to souvenir shop. What's this? Purified water. Oh, nice. More My Diary by Jason Grant. Entry Hi. one. And entry two. Hi. Nick Knack. Whoa. Are we letting Mungos in now? Yes. Didn't hear any shots, so I'm guessing you're not here to raid us. <laughs> and if you're not here to raid us, you might just have brought something cool for us, see? So who are you? And how'd you get let in? I'm the big hero who rescued your friends from the slavers. How's that for cool? It sure isn't bad. Nice work bringing them back. You didn't happen to bring anything else back, did you? Gear, equipment, bric-a-brac? Speaking of which, I'm Nick Knack, and I run the store down here. If you want to trade anything, come on by the souvenir store and we'll talk. Why are you called Nick Knack? Well, my name was Nick, and I collect Nick Knacks. Not everything has to be real complex, see? <laughs> Can you repair my stuff? Oh boy, new junk to tinker with. I, I'm slightly concerned that you're so happy about that. Oof. Ugh. Alt 77 jumpsuit. No, that's okay. 
Uh, can you give me directions? Where to? Mm, food. Okay, that's enough. How about we trade? I hope you brought me some cool stuff. I hope I can get my caps back from you. All right, got my caps back. Always a grab bag with my stuff. See? And I got some ammo, and I got Come more Come on back, we got more stuff to trade. Thanks. Oh, I wanna... Is this where you sleep, kid? That is where he sleeps. Is there anything else? Ruined book, iguana on a stick. But let's listen to the... I wonder if it's another adult from when all this... Like when the kids originally got trapped here. So Jason Grant. Um, I guess this thing is working. Oh... I'm Jason Grant. I'm 10 years old. I'm in Miss Delaney's class at Early Dawn Elementary. Oh, a month ago, a big war came and everything was destroyed. Except us. We're still okay in these caves. Kind of. Mrs. Delaney went out this morning to get help. And she never came back. The other adults never came back either. So now it's just us kids. Oh no. A lot of the others still cry every day. They're really scared. I'm not. There's nothing to be scared of, as long as we don't go outside. Nobody else wants to be in charge, so I'm gonna try. Most of the kids listen to me already, so it should be easy. I, I don't want to think all the adults ditched these kids. I really don't. They probably, in all reality, got murdered, but some of them probably ditched these kids. And now they have to survive on their own. Oh my gosh, this is so upsetting. It's been almost two months, and we're all doing pretty good. Even if we are all alone. There's a door that leads to a vault, right here in the caverns. Every day, we bang and bang, but they won't let us in. We can hear them in there. One time, a guy on the other side told us we were dead already. Fuck those grown-ups. Fuck them all. We don't need them ever again. I'm guessing the adults leaving is what led to their tradition of when you hit 18, you have to leave, and this place is only for kids. But I, like... Where did, like, eventually you're going to run out of kids, aren't you? Unless you kidnap other kids to, to come here and stay with you. I'm, I'm a bit perplexed of how that all works. Someone dropped a teddy bear. I want to try to see if I can find the doctor lady. The doctor child. That's not, that's, that, that should not be how that works. Maybe she ran back over here while I've been gone. Probably not, but it doesn't hurt to double check. Look, there's like a little merry-go-round. That's what those are called, right? Should She's not here. Well, it's fine. I have enough stim packs for a while. <laughs> As long as we can avoid going down murder paths, I feel like I'll be okay. Man, there was a point when I had like over 100 stim packs and I was like, I got nothing to worry about. I got plenty of stim packs. Apparently I do. I, I do have something to worry about. Okay, hang on. Let's go on the left branch the, towards the spelunkers. Hi Lucy, there. hi. Who are you? What are you doing in here? I'm a guest in your town. Mayor McCready let me in for rescuing your friends. Yeah, I rescued those captured kids. I'm a big hero. Well, if you brought them back, then I guess that explains why Argy let you in. So, I guess that does make you a big hero. <laughs> I'm Lucy, and I'm pretty much mommy to the folks here. I try to keep them safe. And when that's not enough, I patch up their cuts and bruises. Oh. And when that's not enough, I make sure they get a funeral. Thanks for making sure I didn't have to do that for three more of mine. That's really um, depressing. What do you know about the vault here? Or, what do you know about Vault 87? That's where the monsters come from. We don't go back there. It's called Murder Pass for a reason, you know. Okay. If you go that way, you're probably going to get hurt. I can patch you up as long as it's not real bad. How do you keep healthy here? There's always one big sister or another who knows her way around a compress and a sewing needle. So we take care of most of the little scrapes. And way back when, someone figured out that some of the plants and fungus around here absorb radiation. Oh. The little ones don't like to eat their veggies, but they don't like to be sick either. So we get by. So you're the only doctor in this whole place? That sounds like it's a pretty useful fungus. Yeah. That's all I need to get. Middle one. 
It is, especially for dealing with the low-level radiation we all get from the water. The fungus just soaks it right up. But it doesn't help the rickets that keep hitting the younger lamp lighters. Believe it or not, I can make a treatment for that from extract of buff out. Oh. Actually, if you can talk McCready into it, I'd be glad to trade some fungus for buff out, but he'd have to say it was okay. Okay. Um, you're the only doctor in this whole place? Well, we all know the basics. Combat first aid, you know? But I've got the most experience at the tough stuff. Bumble's been learning the most about the more complex parts of cutting and sewing. People tease her, but she's got a steady hand. Of course, now she just needs to learn what you do and don't cut. Uh, yeah, that sounds actually really important. Well, until you come asking for a bandage, at least. Directions? Well? Doctor, food, okay, that's enough. Okay. Don't get too hurt out there. I'll try. All right, well, oh, there's May McCready. I need to talk to him, too. Well, I'm going to pause things here today, and in tomorrow's video, we'll continue to poke around Little Lamplight, and maybe we'll finish it up. I don't know. I'm... They, they're walking a little funny. It's kind of weird, don't you think? But anyways, as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Fallout 3 video.